Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Navisworks Manage, we want to take a look at model setup. So in this episode, we want to look at how we can import models into Navisworks, how to create sets, what's the difference between selection set and search set, and also we want to get familiarized with the selection tree, the layers, and how we can use it in our coordination. So let's jump into Navisworks Manage. We can look at the process. So starting with the area that we need in Navisworks, uh, we know that we need the selection tree, we need we need the set, and also say viewpoints that we're gonna get to it later on. So in order to get those, you need to go to the view, and basically you can check these boxes: selection tree, sets, property, say viewpoints, and anything else that you wanna add um, to your workspace you can basically get over there so the first thing is we want to bring models into our selection tree there is two ways if you are working through bim 360 glue you need to use the tab but for now we're going to use the local drive so we need to go through the home tab we basically click on it and we just click on the nwc dwgs or nwd models and gonna get a pendant the most important part is you want to make sure that if i select all of them and place it's gonna place them the way that you see over here hvac electrical structural architectural and when you append models to the selection tree you won't be able to move them like you can move them up and down so if you want to do it separately let's say here i want to start with architectural structural so i have to do separately and then right now i want to have hvac and electrical and i don't care about the order here so i have both selected and you can see it's going to append here the same way and right here i'm going to click move them up and down it's going to give me the anti-move so i won't be able to do it i had another video that we basically talked about exporting nwcs from revit so you can see all the levels layers and everything coming from revit into your nwc so right now basically we have the model we double check make sure everything comes in the same coordinate um, everything is good and then when we um basically confident that our models are good we need to start selecting uh creating sets so if i right click over here you can see there's a selection a save selection and save search there is a big difference between those two so selection sets are static groups of items useful for saving group of objects right so like changing transparency hiding if you want to do all of those you're basically using the selection set you select on it you can use the same name or same type he's going to select all of those in your model and simply you can go and save selection but you can see if you use this method your save search it's grayed out so you won't be able to do it this way just selecting it from the selection tree so in order to get this search says which is a dynamic group of items so it works in a similar way uh, and except that they save the search criteria instead of the resolve of a selection it's more intelligent and it's going to get updated so this is what i recommend for you to basically go through it and do it in order to do that you can see i basically opened up the fine items and then you can select the model you can type over their category name uh, and also right here easily select and then you name it ceilings if i click on it right now it basically select all the ceilings in my model so the the box that you basically can see um has all the models in there and i can easily change this so let's say change it to doors um and then let's say i want to add windows so you can add as many items as you want based on the clash detection that you want to put together so for for th this instance i want to look at later on doors and windows so i want to make sure i have the or condition so we select both of them so if you want to remove one you select on it you select negate or delete and only se select one light items for you so right now i basically have doors and windows i just right click doors and windows so it's going to select all the doors and windows in my architectural nwc model and if any item gets updated in the later version the search set gets updated that's why it calls dynamic 
So right now I kind of went through, created all of them. And if you click on any of those sets, you can see basically everything is selected. So right now I just would do walls and all the walls get selected. And if later on, if you get an architectural model that they change the walls, anything that is under the wall layers, it gets updated in your search set. So I'm repeating this because it's important. I want you guys kind of pay attention to this. Also for floors, you can see basically selecting all the floors. I'm just going to pick and fill levels so you guys see basically selecting all of that. Uh, columns and everything. And then the best way to do it, let's just do structural together one more time. So select the folder. I'm going to name it structural or struct model. And I'm going to go to define items. So right now I want to select my structural. And then basically I want to type over there all the layers that are inside the structural models. Let's start with walls, serve search. So it's basically selecting all the structural walls in my structural model. So if I want to change it, let's say to floors. Right now I'm selecting the floors in my structural models and always you got to pick one of them which one is accurate most of the time there's going to be a little bit discrepancy between the the floors between your architectural structural you, you need to get a confirmation from the design team which one is more accurate to go off of and you select that one hide the other one and right now for these line item i want to select structural columns and structural framings together because later on i want to run clashes on both of them so if i click on find all it's going to find all the structural columns structural framings in my structural model and i can easily basically go over there right click for the search set and then type these two models and kind of connect them together again i want to make sure that you guys are aware where, where we're doing this because we did talk about the selection set it's for the items that basically you regularly want to perform some actions on if you want to hide some items like the lines entourage or any items that you don't need later just put it under the selection set but if you want to do a rerun you're using the clashes if you want to get an updated the very powerful set is just using the search set just want to make sure that you guys are aware of doing this so right now i'm gonna delete one one of the line items and basically i can go and let's say type um, a structural foundation and the best way to kind of compare to see if you haven't missed any of them this is a way that i do i basically select all the models that i have under the search set and i double check in the selection tree to see what layer i have missed so after this you see i select all and right now i just go over there oh i miss structural connection structural rebar so i can go back over there and then in my find items box i can add all the line items to that so i can select every single item and if you select all of the items that you have under the set it's going to select all the items so just to make sure not to miss any of the layers just do it a few times when you feel like you created set for every single layer in your model and you can that's the best way to kind of qc and double check that you haven't missed any of those it's a very easy process and it's not going to take too much of time but you do it once you do it once when you set up your model and you can utilize this in your clash detection process and if something added gets updated if it's a new layer then you need to add a new layer, create a new one, but it's not gonna be the whole process. So you basically set this up first time when you create your model, I'm just gonna go off, uh, go from there. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. I'm hoping that I was able to show you a few tips and tricks that can help your daily workflow. If you like the content, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and I will see you in the next video.